Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. First reload really into the mad. We are on the border of Jacobstown right now. So as soon as we walk in. I don't think we need to stay for this. Let's just proudly go like Yo Jacobstown, I am here to say hi. Are you here to say hi to you? Welcome to Jacobstown, human. You're free to walk around. Just don't stare at the nightkin. They don't like people looking at them. And if you're NCR, keep it to yourself. They're not popular around here. Alright, so... Are there any town rules you need to know about? Same as any civilized town. Don't start any fights or steal anything. We'll treat you fair. Not a lot to ask. So, I'm looking for Dr. Henry. Doc's inside the lodge. I had some questions about Jacobstown. Such as? Uh, I'd like to know about you. Was part of a super mutant army. Ran a town. Walked the wasteland with a tribal. Now I'm here. Super mutant army? Long story, so here's the short version. The Master created the super mutants and Nightkin. The Master thought he could unify everyone. No more differences, no more war. It didn't end well. You were a mayor? Town was Broken Hills. Bunch of super mutants, humans, and ghouls all living together peacefully. Well, most of the time. And more about the tribal. We were looking for a Gek to save the village of Arroyo. Eventually, we did. Nuked an oil rig in the process. We went separate ways after that. I went east into the Rockies, looking for other mutants like myself. Don't know what happened to my friend. I got a feeling it turned out all right in the end. Let's talk about something else. All right. Uh, why do some of the super mutants here dislike things here? A lot of bad blood between super mutants and humans. Goes back years. Some here still got the scars and memories. Me? I don't really have a problem with the NCR. Set their sights a little too high sometimes, but they try. Legion? That's another story. What do you know about the Legion? Kaisar thinks he can change human nature. Most of the Legion is following Kaisar, not Kaisar's ideals. When he's gone, it'll crumble. Might not happen overnight. Might take a few decades, but it'll happen. Basic human nature. Greed, ambition, jealousy. We'll see to it. What makes the NCR too ambitious? They expand. Fast. If you got land they want, they'll take it. Eventually. Did it out west? They'll do it here. They keep rolling over people. They'll regret it. That's how revolutions start. Anything else you could tell me about Tensia? Seen them grow from a single town, Shady Sands, into the Republic. They've done good for the most part. Do you have any dealings with, new, with new Vegas? Not really. Heard it's a paradise in the wasteland. Never been there myself. Doubt they'd let a mutant in. Amazes me people would come from all over the waste to throw away everything they've got in that town. Yeah, okay. Thanks. All right. Uh, goodbye. See you. I don't need to ask about the Night King. It's kind of obvious that they're just not used to being seen. It's instead the ones that are like... I leveled up. Never mind. There we go. So, I did actually intend to say something, but uh, let it be, or let it be, or let it be, or let it be. I got good stats in many weapons. Let it be. Better watch out. Lily's been babbling about her grandkids again. As I said, Lily is a grandmother. Someday, I miss being in the master. Well, I guess it won't be easy anytime, won't it? Oh, you're Lily. Jimmy! Little Jimmy! My, how you're grown up! So good of you to come visit your grandma. Hello, what are you doing, Jacobstown? I watch over the big horners. They're sweet, gentle creatures. But sometimes they get ornery. Just like my grandkids. Okay, bye. Talk to you soon, dear. Sure, why not? <gasps> Snow? 
It's snowing. Veronica, is this your first time seeing snow? Because I think it's my character's first time seeing snow. So obviously we're going to hide inside. Another human. One was enough. Oh? Bother someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. Do you have a problem with humans? Humans are always staring at things. We Nightkin don't like being stared at. Is is uncomfortable. How does that make it different from some humans? It is different. Right now, I'm trying very hard to remain civil, and you're not making it easy with your incessant questions. Okay, so who's the other human you mentioned? Dr. Henry. He's one of you. Go speak with him instead of me. What did you hear? I represent the Nightkin. Marcus may lead this town, but the Nightkin listen to what I have to say. Doesn't mean I don't respect Marcus for what he's trying to do. However, he doesn't truly understand the difficulties of being a Nightkin. All right, so see ya. Finally, you take care then. Best of luck. Don't get in trouble. That's a night stalker. Look at it. Right, Dr. Henry. I assume this is about something important. You're interrupting my research. Uh, something's wrong with my cyber dog. I was told to come to you. It's neural degradation. Biomed gel can only preserve a living brain for so long, so you'll need to find a replacement. I haven't left Jacobstown in years, but there was one woman in Novak, Gibson. I remember her living with a pack of hounds. Aside from her, I know that the Fiends and Caesar's Legion fight alongside dogs. There could be viable specimens among them, if you can get to them. What are you working on? The Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population, since they seem to have developed a natural stealth field. I've also gotten my hands on a working Stealth Boy Mark II prototype, but that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. So, what do you want me to do? I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one, and I need someone to investigate their lair for proof. Some of the super mutants have looked around as well, but they've come back empty handed. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big harness to Night Stalker attacks and would enjoy a little revenge. Should I take Lily with me? I don't know. What makes you think that the Night Stalker mutation is natural? I've compared the brain chemistry of a Nightkin to one of the local Night Stalkers we killed. They both exhibit similar neurochemical changes. Now, I'm not claiming that Night Stalkers are running around wearing stealth boys, mind you. I just don't think it's all a coincidence. Why is the stealth boy mark too riskier? The stealth field has been modulated to use less power and thus last longer, but for some reason it has pronounced negative effects on the user. However, these pronounced effects will allow me to pinpoint exactly what parts of the brain they're affecting. Unfortunately, I'll need to run the test on a live subject, and Marcus has encouraged me to investigate the Night Stalker mutation first. Does stealth boy use hurt humans? It's possible. But I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any cases where humans were negatively affected. Its negative effects are more pronounced on Nikin. But the question was, uh, does it hurt humans, not... Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, why are you helping to Nikin? Because Marcus asked me to, and because it's a reason for me to get up in the morning. I'd like to get one more grand accomplishment done. All right, let's talk about something else. If we must. You're a scientist? Yes, specializing in neuroscience, both human and canine. Of course, this lab is nothing compared to what I had when I was with the Enclave. Canine neuroscience? Cyber dogs and the like. It's not a field I work in much anymore. You were with the Enclave? Yes, but the leadership and I didn't see eye to eye, so I left. It was the right decision, since the Enclave's oil rig was destroyed not long after. Alright. If we must. 
I'm surprised to find another human here. I prefer the solitude. And having a bunch of super mutants around tends to keep things safe and quiet. All right. Yes, yes. Download complete. Begin recording. Navarro Outpost Scientist, I am glad that EDE has reached you. You will find several data banks of information on this machine. All right. Please handle this information with the utmost care, as it represents the sum total of the results of my research on the Duraframe iBots. There are also several data banks with information on my research into Poseidon Energy and some projects they were working on in the Mojave area. Oh my. That would be helpful. Hello. Huh. I'd heard there were new people in town, but I thought it was more super mutants. Nice to meet you. I'm Calamity. So, you have an interesting name. Thank you. Change names and jobs every decade or so just to keep things interesting. I picked Calamity this time because it sounded nice. I've never really done much science stuff till now. I'm pretty good at it. Or so Dr. Henry tells me. What did you hear? Most of the time, I'm Dr. Henry's research assistant. We're looking into ways to cure the, uh... I'm also handy with tools. And once in a while I venture down into the valley to trade the big horner hides and meat for supplies. So, does anyone other than Super Mutants come up this way? Prospectors looking for salvage, usually. They always run when they see the mutants. The Great Khans come this way once in a while, but they keep their distance. I think they're mostly keeping an eye on us. So what do you have for sale? All right. Only selling is right? Nice. All right, that's acceptable. See ya. Pleasure doing business with you. Bye. Bye. Uh, let's be fair now. If I get into serious shit, I have 101 Dalmatian Stim Packs. Oh yeah. Hello. Sexy sleep, uh, mentats. There are interesting things around, I guess. There's a whole lot of interesting people, though, I don't think. That's a lie. Most of the people here are pretty interesting. Who owns this bedroom, then? Doesn't seem to affect much. Alright. You are a super mutant. That's cool. What else do we need to see? You are a super mutant. Stupid big honors. We're making noise all night again. Well, don't call them stupid to their face. I think uh, Lily will get angry. So, um, is this why we're here? Because Marcus told us not to steal things. Like, we really shouldn't steal things. Marcus told us not to steal things. So many scary eyes. I hope it will snow later. I do too. Though it was snowing when I came here. There's some chemistry stuff. I wonder if there are more safes or anything else. We just. Or use. It's a pretty large place. Better watch out. Lily's been babbling about her grandkids again. These are pretty smart. Spotted some humans down the road. Could be great cons again. No. I was saying there's someone out there. That's a lot of ham, the radios. Oh, and this is free to take, so I'll take it. Not that I don't expect to need it anytime soon, but I'll take it. Um, that's Marcus's room. Let's let Marcus be for now. We'll steal some of their stuff, though. Do. A toy. I'm sure they don't mind. 
plus our karma is too perfect. We need to change that a little. I didn't actually see anything. Worth keeping locked up, so um Someone's watching me. I can feel it. I was looking in your direction indeed, sorry. I didn't mean to f make you feel self aware. Or well not self aware but you know I hope it will snow stuff. Later. Ooh, the kitchen. The kitchen doesn't seem to have anything of interest in it. This computer looks to be broken. Let me out! Let me out! The gun cabinet is empty, foot lockers are empty. I think we can leave now. It's a nice place and all, but. Uh. Yeah, I guess he is. Still snowing. Do we do the hound dog or do we do the night stalkers? Hmm. But there is someone on the road. Got a problem, could use your help. Been having trouble with NCR mercs harassing the town and they just showed up again. You uh, shoot these mercenaries work for the NCR? Guess I can't say for sure if they're NCR. Wherever they are, they want us dead or gone. Have they been ha how have they been harassing the town? Killing our big horners, shooting at the lodge, that sort of thing. It's getting hard to keep people from retaliating. All right, what do you want me to do? You're human. They might be willing to listen to what you have to say. Maybe. I'm not asking you to kill them. Just talk them into leaving. Hell, pay them off if you have to. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Hello, you little shits. Get the fuck away from my friends. Bugger off, Norton. Our business is with the muties, not you. Go away, or you'll have to deal with me, and you'll wish you were fighting super mutants instead. I've always known when to fight and when to back down, and it seems to me I ought to back down this time. My men and I are leaving. You won't see us around here again. Good. So we don't get to kill them. Oh. Bugger off, you little shits. There are a lot of them. Marcus! Where are you, Marcus? I've got good news. Good news, everybody! Marcus? Something on your mind? Yeah, nice view. Uh, what's the story with Keen? Smart. Charismatic. And hell of a mean streak. Doesn't care for humans. Prefers fighting them to talking. He's got a lot of pull with Nightkin, though. He talks, they listen. Was hoping he could draw the Nightkin to Jacobstown. Keen is saner than most, but I know he's thinking of going his own way again. He's aggressive, impatient, can't stand sitting around. You mean, uh, what happens if Keen leaves? That happens? There's a good chance other Nightkin will follow. It'll make it hard to get a cure to them. Worse, if Keen and the Night can tear up the Mojave hunting for stealth boys, people are gonna get killed. Most humans can't tell the difference between mutants. Might come here looking for payback. Uh, why does Keen want to leave? Because of a promise, one I haven't been able to keep. The Night can all suffer from schizophrenia. It's the stealth boys they use, or used to use. Night can have a hard time being seen like normal folks. Can't stand it. A few already left to try and find more stealth boys. Miserable situation. They either stay here and suffer, or dig up stealth boys and lose their minds. Not much of a choice. And wouldn't the Night King listen to you? <laughs> That's like saying Kaisar and Kimball would listen to each other. Nightkin don't have a lot of trust for others. Mutants included. Alright, let's talk about something else. Alright. Uh, you won't have more trouble with the mercs. Good. 
Glad you didn't kill them. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not going to get it from us. Good. See you. See you. I'm gonna... See you. Go and fix up the dog. Or I... Nah, let's... Fix this one up first. Apparently the cave is that way? Huh. Should we call Lily? Oh, she might have something that has... Uh, like a minigun or something, I don't know. It might be dangerous. Or a flamethrower. I don't want any of my own people to get hurt. But that's not really surprising now, is it? Probably not. Is there a back gate? That doesn't appear to be a back gate. No. So we're just taking a walk around the uh, building. Without being actually able to get inside the building. Or get outside the gates. Well, since we are going to be stopping by Lily again anyway, we might as well call her with us. She'll like it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs> okay, that was unexpected, really.